Factor pairs. Factor pairs are two numbers which multiply together to make another number. So if I had the number 8, I would be able to make some factor pairs. I could make a pair of 1 and 8, or 2 and 4. We can find factor pairs by using our knowledge of multiplication facts. To find all factor pairs, it helps if we're systematic and start with a pair which includes the number 1. So let's try and find another set of factor pairs of the number 6. I'm going to start by using number 1 and thinking 1 times something equals 6. And 6 is the other number in that pair. So 1 times 6 equals 6. I'm now going to think of the next number up from 1. So I'm going to think of 2. And I know 2 goes into 6 three times. So my factor pairs are 1 and 6, 2 and 3. If the area of a rectangle is 12 centimetres squared, what might be the length and the width? So if we had a rectangle like this, we don't know the width, and we don't know the other dimension, the length, but we do know the area. And I know that the area is equal to the length times the width for a rectangle. So I'm going to find the factor pairs of the number of the number 12. This means that I'll be able to find pairs of numbers that multiply together to give me the area, the 12 centimetres squared. And I'm going to do it systematically. I've got 1 and 12. 2 and 6. 3 and 4. So my factor pairs are 1, 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So all of the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. And once we've found these factor pairs, what that means is that we know the possible length and width of the rectangle which has an area of 12 centimetres squared. If the length is 1 centimetre, then the width has to be 12. If the length is 2 centimetres, then the width has to be 6 centimetres. And if the length is 3 centimetres, then the width must be 4 centimetres. And obviously, these could be the other way around. You could call uh, one of them the 1 centimetre distance, the width, and the 12 centimetre, the length.